winner of Indiana and Pitt, and the Hoosiers are no stranger to this moment. A record 22nd College Cup in their 50 years of program. They know what this moment's about, but can they get to the final yet again? Pitt Panthers on the other side, a team that many thought before the season would be here, but an up and down year. The rematch from 2020 is underway in the College Cup semifinal number two. Syracuse awaits the winner Monday night. Britain we'll bring first team all Big East to play it in. Big, big 10 to play in, excuse me. Looking back post where you said the Vander, Vandersar's off his line to play. Jones running at the back line. Out wide to Wittenbrink. He's got options in the box. Wittenbrink shot. Save Vandersar! And there will be a penalty! Back to the inside here on Ryan Wittenbrink. You know he wants it on his right hand foot. Lucas Rosa, as he comes back through, he pushes him outside. So that's a good recovery, because he wanted the right, you push him out, but that quick little change, you opened up your body too much, allowed too much space. The backside of it, it's a foul. It's plain and, and simple. Joe Vandersar has faced one penalty this year and saved it. Massive moment early in the second semifinal college cup. He's been hot, he remains hot. Now an eighth point in his ninth match, last nine matches, to give the Hoosiers a 1-0 lead. They go back to the pen, the first one comes back across, it's not the best of penalties. Vandersar reads it, almost jumps it too much, but on the deflection, because he comes so much to the side, he expects the ball to be closer to the post. The redirect needed some help here. You needed a little bit of help, come sooner if you can. Great job, though, to have the calming presence of Wittenbrink. He could do no wrong. Makes it off for Walty. First time strike. Makes it off to Endley. Shot to Flex and still in there. 20 seconds. Played it low into the back of the net for almost an impossible angle. You gotta be kidding me. Tommy Mahalik, the super sub, does it again. The sophomore gets his seventh goal of the season. And a killer time with just 17 seconds to go in the first half. The back line, centrally, it's attack-minded, but just watch him drift on the far post. As he comes here, it is an impossible angle, but you can't give five yards of space. That's too much space, because you allow him to turn his hips and come back across. He leads Premier League player, was supposed to go to Indiana. Gets an opportunity to go pro. Sesok the one he leans on. Eight down, Mirkovic first time. That could have been the difference maker. Final seconds. They pushed overtime. This could be a chance for Jack Hassan. He's right there. Did Harms get a piece? And he did. He goes. This is where the brain says Jack Hassan shines. The diagonal run. It's good pressure by Sunity one on one with the goalkeeper. Out swinging ball. Bodies in. Harms again. To Noel, skips it and looking back, post for Jack Hassan! Harms again! Oh man! He's made some huge saves in this second. And they went back and forth all season long. JT Harms, Brian Pratt, both waiting in the wings for their opportunity. He started his last seven, four shutouts, only conceded multiple goals once throughout that run, and this is a good reason why. College Cup log on to NC.com. The official online home for all 90 NCAA championships. Sarver in a foot race again, wins this one. 1v1. One one. Outside of the net. The course of the season, he hasn't always had to be the guy to make the saves, but tonight certainly was the case against this high flowing attack coming out of the ACC. Pitt Panthers falling just short again. You feel for him. Sometimes Dallin, there's no magic. And that kind of felt like that tonight for Jay Vidovich and his guys. And yet, it seems like. Every time we come to this city, the boys in red are happy to come and hang out a little bit longer. Indiana advancing to the national championship. Two brilliant moments in the first half.